Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Stellarium to measure how high the sun is in the sky at midday. So in other words, the sun's angle above the horizon at midday. That's as high as it gets in the sky. So I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, so here we are in Stellarium. And the first thing we need to do is acquire the sun. So again, go to the search window, type in sun and enter, and it will find it in the sky. The next thing you need to do is pick your location on the planet. And we're gonna do a variety of locations, most of which you're gonna pick. Though we begin with an example, and that example is Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Again, that's where Skynet is headquartered. But in the example I'm showing you now, I'm not gonna do Chapel Hill. I'll let you do that one on your own. I don't wanna give away the answer. So instead, I will pick a different location. Maybe I'll pick uh, Pasadena, California, where I did my postdoc. Okay, I'm in Pasadena. I'm gonna close this out. And now, um, we're, we're gonna do this for uh, summer solstice in this particular example. So I go to the date, I'm gonna set that to June 21st. And you know, as you do other cities, you'll do summer solstice, you'll do winter solstice, and you'll do the equinoxes as well. But in this example, we're gonna measure how high the sun is in the sky, in Pasadena at midday on the summer solstice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're gonna scroll out so we can see the whole sky. And I like to put south on the bottom. We have S here to denote south. You can see we're not at midday. At midday, the sun would be right over here, halfway between east and west. So I can change the time, maybe somewhere around there, uh, approximately. But to get it precisely, we're gonna go over here and read uh, the, well, it's hard to see because the text is on the ground. So another hint here is if we come down here and click on this eye, that's night mode. A lot of astronomers and amateur astronomers use this software program, Stellarium, at their telescopes, and they don't want the bright light from the computer screen to mess up their night vision. So there's this kind of night mode or red mode and it's easier to read the, the text here. So what we want is um, the apparent altitude. So over here we have azimuth, altitude. Uh, so right here, the second number is the altitude. It's currently 39 degrees up. In fact, I'm just gonna stop time from running right there. 79.00, and I'm going to adjust the time to maximize this. So that brought it down. It's now 78, 57. So go the other direction. And the arc minutes are still increasing. Now they're decreasing. Right there. And I'm not going to really worry about the seconds. We can if we want. somewhere around there, that's as high in the sky. So 1254, it doesn't happen exactly at noon. It depends wh where you are in the time zone, if you're using daylight savings time or not, things of that nature. And, but we're not looking for the time, we're actually looking for the altitude. That's as high as the sun is in, in the sky. And that's 79 degrees, 17 arc minutes. And in the WebAssign lab, you're supposed to enter that to the nearest number of degrees. So if it's over 30 arc minutes, you round up. If it's under 30 arc minutes, you round down. Okay. That is how you do that.